Last time we built an app that allowed us to change colors using buttons. This time we're going to continue playing around with color, but instead of using buttons, we're going to use sliders. So I'm going to go up to my project. So you can always go to this projects menu in the upper left and click on my projects. And I want to start a new project. And I'm going to call this project color sliders. Ta-da! I've got a new blank screen. And so now, much as I did with the previous app, I'm going to change the title to be something other than screen one. So I'm going to change this title to color sliders. So we are going to be playing around with sliders instead of buttons. And a lot of why we're going to do this is to give us a chance to experiment with different colors. So in the previous app, there were some pre-selected colors that we could work with, and there was a little color chooser we could use. But what we're going to experiment with here is creating any possible color that the device can display. And sliders will enable us to do that. So I'm going to come over to the palette, and I'm going to grab a slider and place it on the interface. Now, something that we need to do with sliders when we place them on the interface is uh, we need to make the width um, easy to actually slide with. So initially, when you put it on there, um, it, they're not very slidable. And so the way you fix that is you go over in Properties to Width, and instead of Automatic, select Fill Parent. And so what that's going to do is enable the slider to go all the way across the app. Uh, the app screen. And that really helps a lot with uh, making it uh, usable. All right, so what values should we be using? So the way that colors are constructed, we're going to go into a lot of detail about this. Um, but for starters, every color is built out of three primary colors, which for video purposes are red, blue, and green red, green, blue. And each of those colors at zero is absent and at 255 is fully present. And so that's the range we want to use for our slider. So I'm going to go back over to properties and for min value, I'm going to put zero. For max value, I'm going to put 255. Now I'm ready to try some programming. So I'm going to go over to blocks and I'm gonna get ready to program my slider. So, a slider does something when its position is changed. That's what it reacts to. Unlike buttons, which respond to being clicked, sliders respond to having their position changed. Now, as before, I want to be changing the background color on the screen. So I'm gonna bring that block in. But now I want to be able to use the position of the slider, which is referred to with the thumb position, to reflect, uh, I want the color to reflect that position. So when I go over to colors, I'm not gonna pick one of these color blocks, I'm gonna pick make color. So how does make color work? Make color lets you specify values for each of red, green, and blue. So the top one is red, the middle one is green and the bottom one is blue. So just to visualize this before we even really make the slider do anything, I'm going to go ahead and connect my AI companion, my App Inventor companion. And in so doing, uh, just a second. Uh, where to go? There it is. Okay, I'm going to scan my QR code. So right now, if we're looking at an app where it's 255 red, zero green, and zero blue. So initially, it, it's just white because I haven't done anything. But if I touch this slider at all, it can be a little tricky to do that without looking at it. There we go. I touched the slider, and now the whole thing is red. And now, no matter what I do 
with the slider, it's still just going to be red. So what I want to do is change the app so that the amount of red depends on the position of the slider. So how am I going to do that? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this 255 over here. So I'm going to take this to the trash can, which is where unwanted blocks go away. And then I'm going to hover the mouse over thumb position. I'm going to grab this get thumb position. I'm going to put that there. So now whatever value my slider has is the amount of red that I'm going to have. And so uh, initially I am fully red. But now, once I start sliding, it start. Whoop! Let me try that again. It fades to black, and now if I move it to the right, it comes up fully red. And then if I pull it left, it goes to black. So all the way at the left, zero 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 is black. All the way at the right, two fifty five zero zero is red. Now. Let's see what would happen if I change these zeros to 255s. So now, when I'm all the way at the right, I'm white. That is, I've got three 255s, so if all of my colors are maxed, that means I am white. Now I'm going to remove red by moving the slider to the right. And if I remove all the red, I get a kind of a aquamarine, a cyan color. So that's a blue-green mix. So it's 255 blue, 255 green, zero red. And so at this point, uh, I've zeroed out my red. Now I can always bring the red back. And the more red I bring back, the whiter it gets. Now, to really make this interesting, what we want to do is add more sliders so that we can adjust other amounts of color. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch these back to zero so that um, I can be red uh, if I want. And I'm going to add another slider to control the green. So I'm going to drag a second slider onto the user interface. And now I need to modify it similar to I had how I had to modify the other one. So I'm going to set the width to fill parent. I'm going to set the max value to 255, the min value to 0. I'm going to go over to blocks. And I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste all of this. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Let me drag this down. Uh, so let me trash that. Okay. So now I want to do, sl okay, slider one and slider two, terrible names. Um, so let's go back and change the names of the sliders. This is going to be green slider, and this will be the red slider. Okay, so let's go back to the blocks. So when the green slider changes, then I want that to reflect the green thumb position. But this is a little tricky, right? Because I also want to keep whatever the red was at. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to click on the red slider, and I can actually ask, what is the red slider's thumb position? And, you know, I can do the same thing over here in my red slider. I can ask for the green slider's position. And so I'm going to go over to green slider, and I'm going to ask for the green slider's thumb position, like so. And so now I can play with both colors. And so if I bring up my app, so here, initially both black. I've got my red slider on top, my green slider below it. So now I can play with the green slider and I get as green as I want. So no green, all green. Now I can do the same thing with the red slider. Okay. So let me find. So if I go all the way red, if I've got red and green, it actually makes yellow. So now I'm going to start taking away green. That got me to something that's kind of like orange. 
And the more green I take away, the redder I get. And then I can add more green, I get orange, and then eventually yellow. And so by playing with these sliders, you can discover lots of different colors, which is a really cool thing to be able to do. So at this point, um, I want you to go ahead and pause the video and add a blue slider. So add a blue slider that's going to work with your red slider and your green slider so that you can look at any color you want. Let's go ahead and pause the video, add the blue slider, and then come back and I'll show you how I did it. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and add a blue slider. So I'm going to drag over a slider as before. I am going to set its width to fill parent. Its min value will be zero and its max value will be 255. Now I'm ready to program it. And this is going to look very, very similar to my red and green sliders. So similar that I am going to copy and paste my green slider. I'm going to change this. Well, oh, it's named slider one right now. I don't like that name. So I'm going to go back to designer. I'm going to rename slider one to be blue slider. There we go. Now I'm going to click on the blocks. All right. So let's think about my blue slider. Down here, when I get the thumb position, I want that to change my blue level. So now I need to ask green slider for the green level. So I'm actually going to copy that green slider thumb position from up there. And this will work really well for the blue slider. Now, my red and green slider need to make use of the blue slider thumb position. So I'm going to junk these two. And then I am going to copy this block, but change it to blue slider. And I will copy it a second time. And I'm going to put it in both places. So now I've got a full blown color mixer. So check it out initially. Before I do anything, it's just all white. Uh, so I'm going to start playing around. With it, I'm going to zero everything out. So I scoot. Oh, whoops! I meant to go the other way. So I'm going to go all the way to the left. I'm black on everything. So now I'm going to bring in some blue. Bring in as much blue as I'd like. Now I'll bring in some green. And when I bring in the green all the way, I get cyan. And a halfway is still pretty bluish. I'm going to zero out the green. I'm going to leave my blue in all the way. Now I'm going to bring in my red. So as I bring in red, all the way I get something that's kind of pinkish purplish. If I pull back, actually this is kind of interesting. You know, purple isn't just balanced red and blue. It's really uh, like blue plus half red. You know, uh, gives you a nice purple. And you can really play with any color you want doing this. Now, something that's interesting to think about is if you create a particular color with the sliders, well, what are the numbers associated with it? So let's go ahead and play with that a little bit, actually. So I'm going to go back to the designer. And I am going to add some text boxes. So the idea of these text boxes is that all display the number that corresponds to each of these sliders. So I am going to first rename the text boxes so I know what they're talking about. So this is going to be the red box. And this will be the green box. And then we'll have the blue box. So a couple of things with the text boxes. These are only displaying information. So I'm going to hit the read only check mark on each of them. And because they're not going to be typing anything, I'm going to get rid of the hint. We're going to talk more about text boxes next time. Um, but for now, uh, this is a nice way to set them up and make them read only. And then let's do the same thing here. Um, the Allen's read only, read only. Ah, here we go. 
And let's make the last one read only. Okay, so now we're going to go to the blocks. And so what we're going to do is whenever the thumb position changes, we're going to update the text box to contain that thumb position value. So I'm going to start with my red box. So I'm going to set red box text over here to be the thumb position. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. All right, that thumb position, like so. Let's make a little more space. Now I want to do the same thing down here. I want my green box to be the thumb position of the green slider. And then I'll copy and paste. And I will make my blue box get that thumb position. Okay, oops, my companion disconnected. Just a second, let me get them reconnected. So let's take a moment. All right. Let's scan the QR code. All right, they are connecting. And so now I can play around with some different colors. So Let's say, for instance, I want to regain that nice purple I had before. So now I can see the numbers that correspond to it, right? So, um, whoops, my little phone screensaver kicked in for a second. Um, oh, sorry, let me try that again. Okay, so here I've got whoops 255 blue and 122 red and so if i want to produce that color for my own app using make color i know that i would want zero green 255 blue and 122 red and i would be able to then create that color however i want it and so this app is really, really useful for making other apps, actually, because you can use the sliders to figure out what combinations give you the exact color that you're looking for. So congratulations. At this point, we've created two apps, each of which play with color in slightly different ways. And uh, I hope you've uh, enjoyed the process of creating these. And again, as always, keep playing around with them. See if you can make them do different things. And I'll see you next time.